A power-driven vessel, when towing, shall not exhibit the same light as a normal power-driven vessel. It should show two masthead lights in a vertical line. It should show side lights and stern light. Additionally, it should show towing light vertically above the stern light. When the length of the tow from stern of the towing vessel to the after end of the tow exceeds 200 meters, about 656 feet, it shall show three masthead lights in a vertical line. When the length of towing vessel exceeds 50 meters, or 164 feet, then additional masthead light is placed at aft and higher than the forward one. When the length of the tow exceeds 200 meters, about 656 feet, a diamond shape should be placed where it can be seen best. When a pushing vessel and a vessel being pushed are rigidly connected, then they are considered to be a normal power-driven vessel. When a power-driven vessel is pushing another vessel, and if they are not rigidly connected to each other, then the pushing vessel should show two masthead lights in a vertical line. It should show side lights and stern light. When the length of pushing vessel exceeds 50 meters, or 164 feet, then additional masthead light is placed at aft and higher than the forward one. A vessel or object being towed, other than inconspicuous partly submerged vessel, shall show side lights and stern light. If the length of tow is more than 200 meters, or 656 feet, then during daytime, it should show a diamond. A vessel being pushed shall exhibit side lights at forward end. A vessel being towed alongside shall in addition to side lights show stern light also. An inconspicuous partly submerged vessel or an object being towed should exhibit an all-round white light each at forward end and after end. If the length of the object is more than 100 meters or 328 feet, then additional all-round white light shall be exhibited such that the distance between any two lights is less than 100 meters or 328 feet. If its breadth is more than 25 meters or 82 feet, then two more additional all-round white lights shall be exhibited at or near the extremities of the breadth. In daytime, a diamond shape shall be placed at the end of the object. If the length of the tow is more than 200 meters or 656 feet, then another diamond at the forward of the object. When for any reason it is impractical for a vessel or an object being towed or an inconspicuous partly submerged vessel or object being towed to exhibit the lights prescribed in this rule, then the towing vessel shall illuminate the vessel or object being towed by any means, preferably by directing a beam of searchlight towards the vessel or object being towed. When it is impractical for a towing vessel to exhibit the lights prescribed in this rule, because it is not normally engaged in towing operations, then such a vessel when towing a vessel in distress shall exhibit the normal lights of a power-driven vessel. In other words, the masthead lights according to her length side lights, and stern lights, and shall in addition illuminate the tow line by any means, preferably by directing a beam of searchlight toward it.